Hey YouTube, you have Leonard here. For you guys and gals, Kanojo Okurishimasu, Run to Girlfriend, we're here. We are live, chapter 249, the review portion. Um, I always say Kanojo Okurishimasu. I know it's like Kanojo Okurishimasu. I don't know why I always say Okurishimasu, but it is what it is. Um, Kanojo Okurishimasu, we're here. We're on chapter 249. So everybody, I just finished a chapter, and of course, you can find my live reaction over on the Twitch side of things. Um, link in the description box down below. I'm not gonna lie, there was a point in the chapter, which you guys all know about, where Kazuya goes to um, his grandmother's house, like his family's house, and the random foreign exchange student from the Philippines or whatever enters. I'm telling you, when I read, did a live reaction, like I was like, wait, what? I was like, what? What is happening here? That aside, um, overall, I think this is a very, very good chapter in my personal opinion. Um, really focusing on what's going to be, I believe, the start of a new arc here uh, with Kazuya and also with Chizuru living together. So again, I apologize, everybody. I see the comments in the you know the review. Ah, can't speak today. I see the comments in the review portions. I read everything. I sometimes miss stuff, and I've had issues going back recently. Um, but I think it was Jean on YouTube. I haven't confirmed this yet, but basically talking about how Kazuya and Chizu are most likely going to end up living together. Um, is most likely going to end up being at Chizu's grandmother's place, Sayuri's place. And at the end of the day, Nagumi is going to be a catalyst for this, suggesting that they should live together. Now, that's kind of exactly what we ended up getting in this chapter. And I do believe in the end game that is what's going to happen. So, Jean, credit to you, you're 100% correct so far as it relates to this chapter. I think one of the interesting things for me is that we really saw Kazi's perspective on things, but likewise also Cheese's perspective and how they both feel the same way. When we learn that the house or the apartment where they're staying has the cracks down, that they're not going to be living together, my first thought is the fact that, oh, well, Kazuya's going to miss Chizuru. Chizu probably is going to miss Kazuya. But realistically, Chizu is going to do her own thing. And Kazuya, honestly, he should reach out proactively and be like, hey, let's stay together. I'm not going to lie. As I read this chapter, it was very clear how Kazuya felt. Kazuya's reminiscing. He's thinking of all the stuff between him and Chizuru, the memories that they've had at this apartment. That, yeah, at the end of the day, it's true. We are still going to go to college together. We'll still have line messages. We'll be able to hang out. But it's not the same. Everything that they've been through, just thinking about their relationship, a big catalyst of all of that, everybody, was the fact that they lived next to each other. They had these beautiful moments where she lost her keys and she'd go over there when he'd leave something on her balcony as a gift. All these different things happen as a function of them living together for better or for worse. And if you take that away, they lose not only the memories, but at the end of the day, they also lose the fact that they can't have those coincidental get togethers. They can't have the casual, oh, I'm just going to check in and see how you're doing. They lose that. Um, and it's really, really sad because of the fact that they're at a very pivotal point of this test run where they are trying to figure out where they stand in terms of their feelings. Chizu is finally opening up. She's getting out of her shell. Now, as the chapter goes on, and I think I chose this most likely as the thumbnail for this video, we have a moment where we have Chizu getting hit on. And before that, Kazi even makes reference to the fact that, you know what, Chizu, she's calm and collected. At the end of the day, She's probably fine, but he also knows her and wonders, like, how can anyone not be lonely in this situation? Guys, Chizudu is lonely, and it's very, very clear. She's walking, she's getting hit on. She's clutching the key, thinking back to the moments with Kazuya, how she'd go over there because she forgot stuff, how Kazuya talked about the rental stuff, his feelings towards her. She remembers all this. All these are very fond memories associated with the apartment. So again, like I said at the outset, similar to Kazuya, is not only the fact that she's losing that, but on top of that, she's going to miss Kazuya. She's going to miss having him around, having that close contact. I promise you, if for whatever reason, Kazuya is able to speak up and just tell Chizuru that he wants to live with her, I honestly think that she would say yes. She finds some roundabout way of doing it where it's not like, oh, yes, please. But she'd be like, what? Really? Uh, I guess if I must. Like, typical student did this stuff. Um, but she would say yes at the end of the day because I don't think she wants to be separated from Kazuya. We can tell here, like, in this panel that I'm looking at, Chizuru genuinely is sad. She's upset. She feels conflicted. She feels hurt. It's like she's thinking back. And there's regret there. She wishes Kazuya would be with her, and she's going to miss him. She's going to even miss these memories. So I think that's very important. We can't lose track of that. 
And now, Yai Morty. Yai Morty's really interesting in terms of all of this. More likely than not, as much as I'd love for Kazuya to be the one to kind of like, I don't want to say manner, but to like work up the courage to actually go and speak to Chizudu. Oh, and by the way, I'm just looking at my um, Twitch chat. I do agree. The moment Ruka finds out they're living together, because I believe it's going to happen, Ruka's done. Ruka literally is going to explode. But that's side point for another day. Yeah, I'm Morty is very observant. We know this for a fact, and we know how much she cares about Kazuya, and she's very in tune to how Chizuru feels and how Kazuya feels. She cares so much about Kazuya in particular. She sees Kazuya, and she sees Chizuru walking away, and she's always just like, huh, something's up here. On top of that, she thinks back to how sad Kazuya seemed, how defeated he may have seemed. Do not be shocked if Yai Mori, per the usual, because honestly, more than Mami has ever done, in my personal opinion, Yai Mori has the never like, the, she's just so good at moving the plot along in a very healthy way. In a way where I'm just like, yes, let's go. She's that character. She's like a plot device. Nah, not a plot device. But she gets things moving much better than Mami ever did, in my personal opinion. I'm not salty, I just hate Mami. Um. So we're going to see what happens there, but I think Yai Mori is going to be the reason for the two of them to end up talking and the whole subject of being together, living together. I think Yai Mori will have a big part in that. And then at the end of the day, Kazuya, you're going to have to find the courage to speak up and tell Chizu that is what you want. Chizu's not going to say it. And honestly, I don't expect her to, and I don't think she should. Chizu's been very good being bold or bolder than she normally would be. So Kazuya, at this point, you've been great the last few chapters. Now's your time to step up and put yourself on a limb a little bit. Go outside your comfort zone. I know you're afraid that you don't want to rock the apple car, as they say. You don't want to get her upset. You don't want to think that you're weird. Do you want to ruin the trial period? At the end of the day, what you need to do, you have to go and be proactive and say like, Hey, are you okay? Are you alone? Talk to her. See what happens. So everyone, we're going to end this one here. Those are my thoughts in terms of this particular chapter. I do think next chapter, we're going to see Yai Modi's plan go into action. Um, I don't know how she's going about doing it, but I think she's going to try and talk to Chizudu first. Well, actually, no, never mind. She's going to talk to Kazuya first and see what he's doing living-wise and everything, get a feel for the situation. Then she's going to somehow find a way to talk to Chizudu, get a feel for how Chizudu is. And then afterwards, I don't think she'll directly tell each other like this what they're thinking. She might tell Kazuya. But she's going to try and maneuver things to where they'll be together, they'll be in a vulnerable situation, they'll have an earnest conversation. That's my hypothesis for next chapter. And I don't expect Ruka. And yes, mommy trash. So I don't think Mini's replacing Kibe. Kibe has a very... I love Kibe. I know people don't, but Kibe's my guy. Always will be. And everyone, let me know your thoughts, of course, in the comment section down below. We're going to end this. Like the video if you like the video. Subscribe like my content. is greatly appreciated as always. And with that, I'm Leonard, and I am out. Take care, everybody, and have a good one. Peace.